Alright guys, we are back for another Dilcon Battle video. So we have the Global Part 2 Celebration info here. They put this in, uh, I guess a tad early. Isn't the normal Global Time in 17 minutes from now? It just seems like a weird time that they're dropping this. Um, JP, I expect, should get their info when Bulma's banner releases, uh, which is in an hour and 47 minutes. Um, I don't expect anything is going to be different on JP besides we're just on a different version of Chain Battle. Uh, excuse me, not Chain Battle, um, Patan, Patan Battle. Uh, JP is just, like, has a, diff a different set, right? Uh, I, I just took a quick glance. I saw that Global is getting the Support Memory Easy Ace, which is a W. Um, and there also does look like an interesting event. Honestly, this looks very good. I, people don't want to hear it, but... I, yeah, because last week was really bad. No one's saying that. But this looks like this is going to be way better than last year's Golden Week. Um, I still would like a strong finish. Hopefully, uh, like an maybe a, a Yellow Quint LR Easy next week or something like that. But uh, we're looking pretty good. Um, I, I think just one more Easy A this final week of May to uh, get us through the celebration. This looks like this could be a pretty good celebration, actually. All right, so let's take a look at what we got. Uh, Legendary Summon is available starting in, you know, basically an hour. Uh, LR Bulma, who is... I, she's top three for sure. Um, I, I feel like I would put her above the Blue Fusions, probably even the Dragon Ball Z duo, uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. Um, Bulma, I feel like, is going to be a special character. Now... Do I think she's going to be better than the top two right now? Orange Piccolo and the GT 8th Anniversary LR? I don't know. I, I would like to use her um, a lot first before I really make that determination. But Bulma, to me, feels like she's like a Z-tier character, right? Like she, at the very least, she's on the tier with Orange Piccolo and GT Goku and Vegeta. So that's good. That's good. Uh, we have a new Ize area, which uh, the characters are actually pretty good, so that's 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 helpful. Burst mode, this looks like this is probably going to be the most fun burst mode thus far. Um, new missions and new stages of various events will be available, cool. Um, okay, so new missions, sure. Then we get the legendary summon. Um, so it is a yellow coin banner. My expectation is that... I'm just going to look at this from a JP perspective real quick. I mean, as a global player, you guys are going to get uh, Yellow Quinn LR Super Boo in the middle of June, right? The global schedule should be Super 17 at the start of June, and then uh, Super Boo in the middle of June, and then, of course, 8th anniversary is July, right? So because of that, um, I do think that this banner right here, uh, is going to follow the new Super Boo Yellow Queen banner format, which is seven featured characters. What that means is it's actually going to be easier to pull Bulma than it was Goku and Piccolo Jr. Because Goku and Piccolo Jr., they had eight character featured banners, and Bulma is probably going to be seven since Super Boo was seven. I don't want to say it in stone, but it's probably going to be a seven unit banner. Um, I don't think it's going to be a good idea to summon for her. I, I, I don't think so. I really would recommend players summon for characters that would be a strong leader for you. I, I'm not saying that a double Bulma team would not be insane, but it's like Bulma is not like a strong leader skill character. Two categories at 150%, I'm good on that, right? Like, nah. So I don't I, I don't really recommend players almost ever summon for Yellow Queen LRs. Carnival LRs are a bit better because the banner lineups are really good. And they are legitimate leaders for teams, right? Like, AGL Carnival Goku is a turtle school 200% leader, right? Like, yeah, that's insanely OP. So, all right. But, yeah, uh, probably skip. But, I mean, let's see what the banner looks like first, right? Uh, there's going to be a pack. I, you know, I really would like these to start coming to JP, by the way. I, I My assumption is that these would start coming to JP once Dokkan is not on top of the world. I know every day I see people say, oh, game's dying. But I don't think so. I think once the game actually does start to move downward in a trend is when they'll go, oh, time for pity. Time for Pilaf Trove on JP. That's when that, those types of things are going to happen, I think. Uh, so we have the... Oh, there's another... Wait, there's another blue stone they're giving us? Is that what this is? No. No. There's not. Okay. It's just... Okay. This is, never mind. Just more sales, which is good. Anyway. Uh, Elder Kai, new stage of Infinite Dragon Ball history. Those are always fun. I like those. Uh, this story event is open because one of the medals you need to awaken Bulma 
uh, is from this story event. Uh, this bull medal right here. If you are a long-time player like me, I have like 500 of these or something like that. Very easy to awaken bull, by the way. Very, very easy. Very easy. So we have that. Um, uh, Grandpa Gohan's Super Strike is available daily. Is there a point to this? No, I'm not really. I, I guess just because it's a Dragon Ball Saga event. I don't. There's no like you, you're not getting medals from this or anything. I don't know. That's just up. Sure. Uh, Yamcha and Bulma, um, are getting their easy ace. Um, again, Yamcha and Bulma, I think Yamcha is pretty good, and I think Bulma's solid. Uh, this type of character will be a lot better if we would just get an indication if their, uh, damage reduction or guard is up, right? Like, a high chance to guard character, if we simply could just look at the screen and say, oh, look, he's guarding. Like, we know that. There's a, the little symbol is on, he's guarding. That would make these characters significantly better. Because the thing is, is it's like, uh, well, I mean, this is a little bit better than a coin flip, right? But it's like, you know, with Tech Goku, it's like, all right, coin flip, do we win or lose, right? Like, it's not the best feeling in the world. But, I mean, if this is up, she should be good. For a free-to-play character, it's probably going to be pretty good, yeah. Uh, she's fine. I don't, yeah, it sucks that it's a 77% chance, but for a free-to-play character, I think these are both Ws. Honestly, I do. If this is the level of free-to-play character we're going to get, this is good. Good is what that is. They're revamping this event as well, which is awesome. Um, we'll see how easy it is to obtain her, but this is, uh, I think, another good thing. Uh, Jackie Chun, Super Strike Jackie Chun. This is where sometimes it was Talon years ago who did the Team A, Team B theory. Because it's like, you put these two pieces of shit up next to each other. I mean, sure, this guy wins the 21st World Tournament. And then this guy gets destroyed by TN, like, absolutely embarrassed. And it's like, this guy's ass. Like, he just sucks. And then Jackie Chun is pretty good, right? Like, the point of this character is he really helps this Goku, right? And so, like, if you're running Jackie Chun with this Goku, then Jackie Chun is giving him two key, 45% attack and defense, and Jackie Chun is guarding. That's really good for a free-to-play character. This guy's good, right? Like, it's like... I. Man, Dokkan does piss me off because it's like last week was so dead and so bad. And now this week it's like, yeah, dude, these, this is just W's across the board. Like, what the fuck? Dude, Dokkan, can we not have a completely dead week? Bro, you know, you... God, are you kidding me, man? This is craziness. All right, Paton, um, Global's getting the 20th. I believe JP is on the 22nd Paton battle. Uh, now this, again, this is where it's like, Dokkan, what were you thinking? This sh these, these two right here should have been removed and have come out last week. This would have been fine. So we would have had the daily events. We would have had a burst mode. They obviously create a burst mode for like situations like last week. I don't know why they didn't put it last week. It doesn't make sense. Burst mode is something that they can actually make fun content for us to do without actually a ton of like effort or dev time and stuff like that, right? So they could put more time into animation, uh, animations or new events. Same thing with just adding missions to the legendary events, right? Like, hello. Now, I believe, let me actually quickly look this up. I believe it's uh, Boyhood Saga or Dragon Ball Saga um, is, um, let's see. Let me take a look at this. Okay, Boyhood Saga or Dragon Ball Saga. Uh, what's well, I'm 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 saying the same thing, but I just want to pull up the mission. I saw it here. Uh, yeah, it is a Boyhood Saga mission. Okay, perfect. I mean that's good, right? I got that's at least something. Uh, now remember, Boyhood Saga does not include these two behemoths right here, these two titans. So that's one thing to keep in mind. But, I mean, this is the GT Legendary Goku event. Can I take a look at Boyhood Saga again? It, it shouldn't be tough for anyone because you should be able to just use a friend path to power Kid Goku. I think a friend path to power Kid Goku um, probably will be sufficient for that event, right? Yeah, and you could use, like, this Yamcha who's going to be free to play. The Tech Bulma is free to play. LR Jackie Chun is, like, I mean, if you don't have LR Jackie Chun, then, like, you're sabotaging yourself. Y you literally do, like, one run in the World Tournament, and you can get a copy, of, like, of the free-to-play LR. Like, actually. Like, it's, like, if you don't have him, like, you're just, you, I, I, I can't help you, man. I, 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 there's nothing I can do, right? But uh, there are some decent free-to-play options in here now. 
I, I guess this is why it's, it's good. Grandpa Gohan, you could rock him. Certainly. Like, like characters like this, like Grandpa Gohan and stuff like that, these guys are good enough for this GT Legendary Goku event. I don't think this is going to be too tough because these free-to-play characters are competent. They gave us competent free-to-play characters, so that shouldn't be too bad for anyone. And again, you could, even if you don't have Path to Power Kid Goku yourself, you can have a friend Path to Power Kid Goku. Certainly, it'll be, with the update of friend system, it'll be child's play to find him constantly, right? Once a couple people beat it with him, then he's just always going to be there, so that's going to be good. Then Burst Mode for the OG Legendary Goku event. Just such a W, man, like... That's so good. Target Goku and Worthy Rivals. All right, we'll see what, um... Uh, typings and stuff like that we'll be using. Uh, should be fun. Should be fun. Oh, yeah. So, like, I guess we'd hope that STR is one of them because then we'd be able to use, like, the coolers and, like, Gamma 1 and stuff like that. But we'll see. Yeah, th I think this will be fun. This is good content. Legendary Goku event burst mode. That's cool. Okay. Now, this is interesting. So, every Dragon Ball story previously... Let me actually pull this up right here. Every single previous Dragon Ball story was kind of like um, a revamped story event. So, like, if we go to the story events right here, right? Many of these have been out for years and years and years. And occasionally, they get minor little revamps and stuff like that, right? But, like, a lot of these story events have been out for years. Now, Dragon Ball Saga ha actually only has the movies, these are the four Dragon Ball movies. All have story events, but nothing else. That's all they have. Original Dragon Ball Saga had zero... This is, this is the only Dragon Ball Saga story event. So this is interesting. This is a brand new story event that they're making a Dragon Ball story. Because again, if we go to the Dragon Ball story right here, these were just old story events that have been revamped and turned into this. So I like this. This means a support member... Wait, when, when is this coming? 22nd? Okay. Yeah, because cause, uh, we'll have at least one support memory coming with this. Um, one thing is there's not going to be a ton of animations that they're going to use in this. Maybe like Bulma's... The, the two Bulma's intros. LR Bulma has an intro, and then the free-to-play in Bulma right here have intros. Those are going to be like the only two movies. That's the only thing about these Dragon Ball stories I wish I'd put more effort into, is getting more of the good animations in here. Or, at the very least, adding good animations later on to some of these. Like, some of these events should have more good animations. Like, Battle of Gods. Like, why wouldn't they add the new God Ritual animation that is in there now? Because when did this come out? In, like, this was March of 2020. So this basically came out for Saiyan Day last year on JP. Right? Like, why... Why not on stage six right here, they add in the animation. I, 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 that's, that is fun, right? Like going through these and having the animation, that's really good for like new players and stuff like that too, that would play the game. That's, I, I really wish that they would put a little bit more effort into these Dragon Ball stories and putting those little like animations in there. I feel like it's just so simple to do and it just adds, it just makes it feel a little bit better. Um, okay, this is good. This is really good. And then this is interesting. So here we go. Challenge event. Oh my god, there's the content. Why why do they blue ball us like this? Why why do we do this? <laughs> you Bro, if if day one, when they dropped the dual Dokkan fast, if they just showed this to us, we go, oh, W. Like uh, it's just I, I this this celebration is just bad like management of where things are placed and communication and not like showing us like oh no don't there's w's coming you just like w two three days ago we're sitting here like oh my god and it's like meanwhile there's just like all these w's coming but like i don't know how about like telling us uh, oh maybe i would help uh, maybe don't do a dead week might help right stupid uh, don't do a completely dead week with nothing um this i think is fine uh, buffing support memories is good, right? You know, making them a little bit stronger. Again, this will help all types of players. The Oolong support memory, for example, is now as strong getting the category boost um, as the Bra and GT Vegeta ones. So that's good. And then we'll see what this is. Complete missions to boost the support memory. I mean, seeing Gohan, there's no... Dude, there's no way they're buffing that support memory with that Gohan and Piccolo because that's like one of the best support memories in the game. Is this one gift from? They're not buffing bullshit. They're not buffing that. <laughs> uh, people uh, hugely underestimate how big of a buff this is. This is a monster buff. 
So there's just no chance this is getting buffed. I don't know. I, I don't think it's like, oh, you get materials and you could pick which one to EZ8, essentially. I don't think that's what it's going to be. I think it'll it'll be a particular, like a stage. What is one that could, you know what they could buff? Well, because I, I was going to say they could buff the Universal Survival Saga one, because that's only a permanent 10%, but this is Super N Extreme Class, and the difference is that these ones are split. Super Class, Extreme Class, and then the Super Class, Extreme Class. I, 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 I have no clue. I, I Honestly, I don't really have a good guess on which support memory will be buffed, but um, there are some support memories that certainly could be interesting, which is a minor change. Um, some of these I do, like a good example of a support memory I really like is this one right here. This is just so basic, but I think so decent. This is so decent right here, right? Like this is good. Um, so like, we'll, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see like what they're going to do, but it, bro, challenge event, bring it up. That's what we love to see. We, we love this. That is, uh, again, pretty good, pretty good thing right there. Uh, stages, bunch of story events. Just, these are just random, right? Uh, unless these are wait, 20, 22. I wonder if this could be a clue to an, an easy A. One of these. It could, it, it could be. One of these could be a clue to an easy A next week. Potentially. Uh, but I don't, I, I, I don't know. It's, it's not smart to read into it too much. But I, my le next guess is we would get a, an easy A next week. Maybe I'm wrong. I mean, it, we have a, a challenge event coming, so that's good, right? Um, so we've got all that. Uh, more Super Strikes are coming, sure. Um, these, these. It's a bunch of stuff for people to catch up on. It always is a good idea to grind up stuff. And then, yeah, there's that. Um, I think that this is looking to be a better Golden Week than last year, which is, you know, if I would have told you guys that three days ago, I would have gotten 500 quote tweets calling me a Bandai cum guzzler, right? But, like, it looks like it's true. Uh, I still would like to see one more EZA, though, I think, for this celebration next week. Um, I, I, I honestly have no clue who, which character. Uh, they're not going to do just, like, STR Jiren. I don't think LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku, even though he's kind of, like, a random character that could EZA. I don't think they would do him. I, uh, maybe LR Gohan and Goten. I, it would be very random, but it, 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 I mean, I would be, actually, if they EZA at LR Gohan and Goten next week, I would be fuming with anger that they didn't do it during the dead week. Like, I, I, they, actually, they better not. They, they better not do that. Don't you dare. I've already said my one F word in this video, so I'm not saying it again, but... <sighs> Man, don't piss me off like that. Because the entire outlook by people about this celebration changes. If Gohan and Goten get an EGL LR Gohan level easy 8 for Goku Day, the entire tone is different, right? Like, ugh, God. I, I just wish they would be just a tiny bit smarter, dude. A little bit would help. Uh, yeah, I, I can't think of who, who an easy 8 would be next week, but I would like a major one. But I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Um, Pretty good, though. Honestly, I'm looking at this. I think it's a W. We got a burst mode. We got tons of stuff. A new challenge event coming. We'll see. Um, but this this looks really good to me. So let me know what you guys think, and I'll catch y'all. Uh, well, I guess, actually, I'm going to catch you guys in, what, like an hour and a half for LR Bulma summons. Uh, Super Boo shafted me beyond belief. So hopefully Bulma does not bend me over and shaft me. Let's pray. Bulma, girl, 2,000 stones for the rainbow, and we'll call it a W. That's it. Boom. 2,000 stones, get me my rainbow, and we're out of here. Super, what was, Super Boo took me like 7,000 stones. It was unbelievable. It's actually, Super Boo is actually one of my worst seven unit banner shafts ever. Like, it's, there's only seven units. It's just insane. There's no way. But I'm expecting incredible luck with Bulma. 2,000 and I'm done. I'm calling it. And that would be a massive W. Uh, let me know what y'all think. I'll catch y'all next time.